I'll make a day of life food station for a bit of history. The RNLI established a life food station in the The first lifeboat, William and Laura, was kept up mooring in the harbor. 1953. A car ferry called Princess Victoria sank during a storm, prompted a lifeboat carnage to save 31 people, but unfortunately, 133 people died. 1956. Donica Day lifeboat stood by the motor vessel Douglas from 17th to 19th of July and was at sea for 60 hours. Many medals and awards have been presented to various lifeboat members. 2010, Donica Day Lifeboat celebrated its centurity, 100 years plus clinking. Behind me is the present, the present lifeboat, which is the Trink class vessel. Um, it can, the, this vessel can go 25 knots, which is about 28 knots. 28.8 miles per hour, pretty fast for a rope, and also it has saved many, many lives. Donica Day used to be the main port between Scotland and Ireland, using Port Patrick Harbour. Unfortunately, due to Port Patrick being expo exposed to westerly gales, Lorne and Stranraer became the trade link between Scotland and Ireland. Donica Day then became a seaside holiday time. Behind me is the Donica Day Lighthouse. The Donica Day Lighthouse was built in its current form in 1836. The lighthouse is 53 feet tall. attempted many, many times by other swimmers, but they all failed. It took Tom 15 hours and 26 minutes to complete. The North Channel was not successfully swam again until 1970. Tom Bloor kept his record for 20, 23 years.
Pier 36. Go ahead and get a good drink. Try to have the small score ice cream. It's the best chips in this line, but sadly, it's not open. Three snails, good food, and Ireland's oldest pub. subscribe to check out more of my videos and have a good summer. Bye!